15th of July, 1916, a visionary by the name of William Boeing laid the foundation for what would become an aviation giant named after himself, Boeing. The company performed really well and soared to remarkable heights, with its market share rising and its stock price skyrocketing. Boeing was a symbol of innovation and progress, shaping the future of aviation. In March 2019, they even reached a new all-time high with a stock price of 440 US dollar. But the next year, on March 2020, everything changed. A storm of unprecedented magnitude struck the world, the COVID-19 pandemic. It sent shockwaves through every industry and Boeing was not spared. The company, once riding high, found itself plummeting, losing more than two thirds of its market value within a matter of a month, eventually reaching a stock price of 90 US dollar at its lowest point. And ever since, it has been struggling to get back on track. However, there's a glimmer of hope and anticipation for them. Boeing is now preparing to unveil its latest masterpiece, the Boeing 777X, a model that promises not only to defy the odds, but also promises to disrupt the entire aviation industry and safe Boeing from their downfall. The Boeing 777X is set to enter service in 2025 and represents a significant leap forward in aviation technology and efficiency. It builds upon the success of its predecessor, or the Boeing 777, which has been the best-selling wide-body aircraft to this date. But to understand why the new 777X will revolutionize the entire aviation industry, we have to look at why the older Boeing 777 was such a huge success. In the late 1980s, the Boeing 747 was the best choice for most airlines. During this period, the airline industry was growing very fast. Business was booming for both Boeing and their largest competitor, even to this date, known as Airbus. But there was rising awareness for environmental issues, and Boeing's 747 planes weren't typically environmentally friendly. Both Boeing and Airbus knew they needed something better than the 747 to grab the attention of airlines and secure their orders. Airbus's vision for the future was called the A340. This aircraft had some benefits, as it could carry a large number of passengers at once, making the cost per seat on a typical flight lower than the industry standard, which was Boeing's 747 at the time. However, Airbus chose an approach for the A340 that involved four jet engines, just like the 747. As a result, the A340 didn't bring a lot of significant differences compared to a 747. It seemed like Airbus was sticking to a so-called don't change a winning formula strategy. However, that's exactly what the industry truly needed. Change. This is where Boeing introduced the 777 model, a wide-body twin-engine jet that revolutionized the entire airline industry. Airlines were impressed with it for several reasons. Firstly, it could cover incredibly long distances, surpassing even the capabilities of the 747. Additionally, it was remarkably fuel-efficient thanks to its twin-jet engines that was eventually upgraded to the powerful General Electric GE90 engine. The 777 had an approximate range of up to 8,455 miles or 13,600 kilometers, which made nonstop flights between major destinations like New York and Dubai not only possible, but also economically attractive. It could also carry almost as many passengers as the older 747 model, all while being incredibly fuel efficient. In a nutshell, the growing awareness of environmental issues played the biggest role in making the Boeing 777 the top choice for airlines. Their decision to opt for twin jet engines made their aircraft more environmentally friendly and fuel efficient compared to Airbus's A340 with their four engines. Now let's fast forward to the present day. What has changed? Unfortunately, in terms of environmental concerns, not much has improved. In fact, it has worsened. Environmental problems, including carbon emissions, are more pressing than ever. Additionally, fuel prices have been steadily rising and airlines are under even greater pressure to save their costs as much as possible due to the losses incurred during the COVID-19 crisis. This is precisely where the Boeing 777X enters the picture. The Boeing 777X is exclusively powered by General Electric new GE 9X engines, which are the largest and most powerful turbofan engines in existence. These engines have been designed for optimal efficiency, with GE employing additive manufacturing to reduce the number of engine parts to just seven. This reduction in parts minimizes parasite drag, lowers weight, and significantly enhances fuel efficiency. The GE-9X is approximately 10% more fuel efficient than its predecessor, the GE-90. This might not seem like a lot, 
But when you consider that the airline industry spent an estimated 215 billion US dollars in 2022 only on fuel, you'll understand that saving 10% is a very significant proportion. But of course, that's not all. The Boeing 777X has a lot more to offer with some groundbreaking features. First of all, it has curved wings. And yet again, I can hear you think, well, that doesn't sound groundbreaking at all. Well, let me surprise you. The Boeing 777X features innovative curved wings that improve its aerodynamic efficiency. These wings, inspired by the design of the Boeing 787, curve upwards from the root and downwards towards the tips. This design alteration optimizes airflow over the wing's surface, increasing lift and reducing drag. Additionally, these wings are primarily constructed using lightweight carbon fiber and composite materials, providing strength and reducing overall weight. Once again, this helps reduce a small percentage on fuel costs, which can save hundreds of millions of dollars in the aviation industry. Secondly, another cool features of the 777X are its folding wingtips. These wingtips can be folded when the aircraft is on the ground, reducing its wingspan from 235.5 feet all the way to 212.6 feet. This innovation allows the aircraft to fit into smaller airports of category E. As a result, the aircraft has greater flexibility in terms of the airports where it can potentially operate. Another great feature on the 777X is that there is more space inside the cabin due to more efficient engineering of the interior walls. Because of this, the seats can be placed at a larger distance from each other, resulting in more seat comfort for every passenger in economy class. The 777X also features significantly larger windows that can be controlled using electronic dimming, comparable to Airbus's dimmable windows on its A350, providing passengers with expansive views of the outside world. Lastly, the 777X improved the cabin atmosphere by incorporating a modified version of the 787's pressurization system, significantly improving humidity levels. This ensures that passengers experience less dehydration and fatigue during long flights. Now that we mentioned the features, let's talk about another huge factor, why the 777X could potentially save Boeing from their downfall. Remember how we talked about the introduction of the 777 and how it was a huge success? Well, what we didn't mention was that the 777 was also considered an easy-to-fly aircraft by many pilots. This is why airlines will likely prefer to stick with their current 777 fleets and upgrade to the upcoming 777X. It's simply more cost-effective to switch to a newer generation of the same aircraft than to transition to a completely different plane, which would involve higher training and labor costs for the pilots operating the plane. This theory is confirmed with airlines worldwide, such as Emirates, Qatar Airways, and Singapore Airlines, placing substantial orders on the 777X. The 777 was such a success because of Boeing's first mover advantage by introducing the first twin-engine jet. It offered efficiency, sustainability, and reduced emissions all into one package, just what the industry needed. However, in today's age, nothing has changed. The environmental problem is bigger than ever, and airlines are in need for fuel-saving options for their aircrafts. The question remains, will the Boeing 777X be enough to secure Boeing's future and compete effectively with Airbus? Only time will tell, but it's clear that Boeing has taken steps to meet the current challenges facing the aviation industry. With the 777X, they aim to once again lead the way in providing efficient and sustainable solutions. Whether this will be enough to ensure their long-term success will depend on how well the market responds and how effectively they can deliver on their promises. So, what do you think? Is the 777X enough to win the race against Airbus and save the company, or will it flop and are darker times ahead of Boeing? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time.